And welcome everyone to Learn a Trade. I thank you all for joining me today. Today I'm going to be changing an ice chute on a Cornelius flavor fusion soda machine, fountain soda machine. Right now I'm just removing the merchandiser and then I'm getting set up to gain access to the ice chute assembly. Just giving some customers the last chance to get their ice and a drink before I unplug the unit. You want to make sure at all times that before you work and work on any of this equipment that you power it down before you start working on it. And then power it back up after your repairs are complete then you can do the rest of your troubleshooting at that point. That's an important safety tip. So right now I'm about to lower the front panel. That's the front panel with all the push buttons on it and everything. I want to give you a look at how that gets done. You just you push up from the bottom and then pull out from the top. And then you can see there's a little set screw in there on the bottom that uh, allows it to fall open towards you. And it doesn't fall open all the way down. It doesn't go flat. So that kind of hinders your access to the ice shoot assembly which you see right there but um it's still workable you could still work in there and hopefully after this video you'll you'll see ways of getting in there to the to the screws and disassembling so right now i'm just checking the ice shoot to see the operation of it and what's been happening at this site is the ice chute has been sticking open. It's been getting caught up once it goes to the top. See at the top of the ice chute, above the ice chute assembly, there's a magnetic sensor. And when that ice chute reaches that point, it makes contact with that magnetic sensor. And then that allows the auger to activate that activates the auger so right now I just powered the unit down and I'm about to remove the upper portion of the ice chute this is called the upper ice chute section the section that you see right now that's on the machine still that's considered the lower ice chute section so you have an upper and a lower section. You see those two silver tabs that are that I'm pushing in and out on the left and the right side of the lower ice chute. That's the handle. That's the handle mechanism. And I'll be showing you how to remove that and how to reassemble that uh, during the reassembly. That is the ice chute door. And that door I'm going to be reusing. The, the door is in good condition. It's just that it was getting caught up because the tracks that it sits in on the lower ice chute, those tracks are, are worn down. Um, this unit is uh, about 15, 15 years old, I would say. And um, over time, that uh, the track that that door sits in wears out. And right now I'm just removing the uh, four screws that are holding in that lower ice chute assembly.
Right. I'm using a there's a it's a nine sixteenth socket, but I I'm using an, a quarter inch extension on my uh, quarter inch wrench, um, just to give me better access. With that extension, I get a little better access to uh, getting a better angle on those getting those nuts off. And then once you got the nuts loose enough, you can pull out pull out your uh, your socket connection and then um, loosen it with the extension the rest of the way. I use my little hook tool just to give me a little uh, inch out that uh, washer a little bit so I can grab it, grab a hold of it. Because you want to try not to drop any of those because it's very hard to locate them after <laughs> after you drop them. So just be careful. I mean, it happens from time to time, but I usually try to use uh, caution with that. Now I'm pulling out the lower ice chute assembly. Um, I have to, it's been on there so long, I have to kind of pry that, um, that metal, that stainless piece in the back, uh, the ice chute backing bracket. I have to peel that off, and then I'm going to set it back into position. That can stay in there. That can be uh, reused. You don't have to replace that it's mainly the upper and lower ice shoot assemblies so I got that lower ice shoot assembly out right there I'm showing you the ice shoot handle that's the handle that the customers push and it's held in with a uh, holding pin and a cotter pin I'm pulling out the cotter pin now and that way I can remove that handle and reuse it on the um, on the new one and then I just removed the holding pin and now I'm removing the handle assembly itself and this is the old lower ice chute assembly you might not be able to tell but I'm um, just showing you on the sides there the um, the track that the I shoot door sets in that's what it sets in and it it, it um, stays within that within those um, those tracks on the edges on the inner edges of the lower ice chute and it goes up and down like that but with it being um, having a little age and a little wear and tear on that lower ice chute those tracks were worn so I have a new that's the new lower ice chute assembly and I also have the new gasket it's best to go ahead and replace the gasket at the same time since you have everything disassembled it's better to go ahead and put a new gasket on there and that gasket just sits in place like so and this is the ice shoot door just setting it in the track to show you how it goes how it operates So now we're ready to put that lower ice shoot back in place.
the way I do it is I usually secure the two corners. It doesn't matter uh, which corners, but I, I'm doing the upper left corner and the lower right corner. First, I'm getting those those nuts back on to hold the lower eye shoot in place. And this will give me some space to be able to set my door inside of the the slots that the that the ice shoot door sits in. So I have those two nuts in place now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the ice shoot door and place that in the, into the slots so that it'll it'll be in place already and then I can tighten the rest of the nuts down and then that that whole lower ice shoot assembly will be assembled as you can see that's how it that's how it's supposed to operate You always want to check that just to make sure there's no parts of it that are getting stuck or getting caught. And now I'm just going to finish putting the other two nuts in place on that lower ice chute assembly. Still checking the door as I go just to make sure that it's there's no parts of it where it's getting stuck. As you can see this unit has those ribbon cables for the dispense buttons. So some people, some technicians will disassemble those ribbon cables and just let them hang down but um, I find it a little easier to just to leave them as they are so that there's no potential problems of uh, breaking one of those um, pins and the ribbon cable because you you just never know uh, it's an older machine like I said and they they uh, could be kind of fragile so now I'm placing my the ice chute dispense handle in place going to place my holding pin you kinda gotta do that blindly to line up the holes with the lower ice chute and the um, ice chute handle dispense handle you want to make sure you get it all the way through because there's a um, hole on the other side of that holding pin and that's where your cotter pin is going to go to keep that pin in place. Now I'm going to place my cotter pin in place and that way it'll make sure that that dispense handle is secured. Okay, so we have our ice chute dispense handle secured. It's in place. Now we'll move on to assemble the upper ice chute assembly. There's the upper eye chute assembly. Just getting it around those ribbon cables. 
making sure not to damage any of them and right now I'm working to get the top section of the upper ice chute assembly that's the magnetic uh, mechanism that the ice chute door it has a rod that goes into into a hole it fits into a hole on the top of that magnetic assembly and then the the upper ice chute at that point when you have that connected it'll click into place and now I'm just going ahead and testing it to make sure it's dispensing each time that uh, mechanism goes up it meets it meets up with the sensor up top and then it's all set to go so right now I have the unit all assembled power is back on I'm just testing the dispense of the ice it looks good and that is all I have for this one everyone I hope this was helpful thank you for watching and please take care and stay with us